Good morning, people. Welcome to another episode of Iron Fist Mining. It's Saturday, July 12th, 2014. And why so specific on the date? I normally don't do that, but tomorrow's my birthday. So I decided to come out here because I'm going to rest on my birthday. Last time uh, I had a birthday episode, it was on my birthday, but uh, I got to go to work the day after, so... Mm -mm. Anyway, I'm going to be 41, and I'm at my usual spot, and like I was telling uh, Matt Camarco, a very good friend of mine, um, him and his wife Alicia watch this, we've known each other for a long time, uh, I was telling him how I thought I missed a big chunk of gold here in my usual spot, so that's what I'm concentrating on today, I was getting concentrates out of my spot, now, I got a late start, I didn't get my ass up very early it's like nine o'clock um, but where I'm gonna hit is uh, what I do I have calendars right like most of us and every day that I go mining or anything I make an almanac of the year before and the year before in between where these sticks are right there I told myself I found a good patch of gold and right here there should be a good patch of gold um, the water is very low and barely running, and like Todd Osborne once told me when I was getting started, if you don't know who Todd Osborne is, he's the guy that invented the bazooka gold traps. Uh, the gold this year hasn't been in the same spot as it was the year before, and he's told me time and time again, it's always changing. So... He was right on that respect, that every year that goes by, the gold is not in the same spot. So, there is a good chance, wow, everything's all mossy, that I may not even find anything today. I'll clear out some of this debris so the water keeps falling. Anyway, this is the general area that I found good gold last year, and then that's where I hit the pay streak was on this side, so I'm going to start with this side, and if it doesn't look like there's a lot there, I'm going to dig here. So we'll see, my people. We shall see. Mr. Beaver has been busy with his sticks. So I'm going to get my gear set up, and we'll get to digging. I'll see what I can find, what we can find. Let's go together. Come on. Okay, so an hour and 44 minutes has passed to where I removed my sluice and their little contraptions got rid of the quarter inch stuff that made it in there it usually blows in when I take the two sluices apart I just don't like panning it and I pan down 20 of these or so buckets worth of material to get this there's a mercury sand flip on the top but let me show you some of the gold that's showing up what I like to do when I'm and in these, sorry about the camera, rock it back when it gets low. That way all the, the gold ends up towards the ass end. And most of the lights, as you can see, float towards the front. It's like an uphill thing. Gold's lazy, it doesn't want to go uphill. So, I quickly rock it forward to rinse out the stuff I don't want. I'm trying to be careful right now because I'm seeing gold show up everywhere. But on this back end... I can get the water in there. You see a lot of that gold. And the mercury is kicking it up. You see it? So what I'm going to do is pan this down and I'll show you what I got. But even though I rocked it back, I'm seeing it up in the, the front end of the pan. It's under a couple tossbacks, but it starts showing up. The camera's really not going to catch it, so... I want to let you see about how much material 20 buckets worth you have to go through just to get that little bit worth of anything. Okay, so after a bit of panning, I was right, I did see quite a bit of gold in there. It's kind of disappointing that there was more, but there is quite a bit. Gold that shiny. 20 buckets and I got some chunks. What I did is when I dug down really deep, I found all these big rocks. And then I used my sucker and then blew... Some of the last buckets that I threw through was off the total bottom, so that's where the big stuff came from. 
But all in all, that's not bad. That's usually a whole day's take, so... I think I'm at the head of the golden dragon that I've been chasing. I think uh, that last pay streak that I grabbed was just the tail end of this. And it was bugging me, so I'm kind of glad I dug there. I'm going to dig up a little higher. But I'm hitting, like, that big rock that's up there. That thing's huge. It's about the size of my torso. And uh, weighs about four or 500 pounds. And I hit a rock like that. It's kind of why I stopped. But it's down deep and I can't move it. So I might dig up and around it and back by, behind it. Something I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm definitely going to chase some more shiny. Even though my bucket five, I was straining my back pretty bad. Ended up having to eat a power bar. But... That gives you kind of an idea. Last time I had like three fingers. This is definitely a four finger rainbow. And that's only off of the first. First damn clean out. So. We'll see. I'm going to eat some lunch. Chill out. Walk around. Look at rocks. I ain't stressing today. There's pan number two. It was well over 20 buckets. I got some dirt in there. Man. But uh, it wasn't as much as the first one. I had to move a bunch of stuff, so I was kind of just scraping over ground that I'd already been on. Uh, but it's not too bad. Some nice chunk in there. I was running the sluice a little fast, too, so that could explain it. Okay, so, got my gear packed up. Maybe you can see it's over there. Anyway, uh, my back hurts. I'm a little tired. I still got some chores to do before I can even take a day off. So, what did I learned today, um, keep chasing the deposits. Um, try to reclimate the area that you have dug in. That way it continues to produce for you, which I did. Um, not only did I move enough material. See this little island over here? It's pretty wide. It's like two feet wide. I moved all that dirt, those rocks, and all of these rocks. And then I piled them up over here when I hit bottom, but I kicked them back in when I was done. So now it's going to make a nice little spot for gold to collect at. Plus, if I want to come back and chase it some more, I'll just push them out. Um, one thing of note, this time of year, the moss is starting to show up, so it gets kind of slickery. But if the water keeps dropping, there won't be much of a, much of a dig at all. So, what else can I say? Oh... There's something I was thinking about. Kevin Malone's making this uh, lightweight uh, trommel machine. And Kevin, try using a recyclable system where you've got a couple tubs of water that uh, pour into each other either via a hole. That way when the, um, the dirt and stuff falls in one, the other one stays clean and run your pump out of that. That way it recirculates and you're not using a lot of water. It, you'll still end up using a lot of water, but at least it'll only be the two, like, uh, plastic tubs worth kind of thing. You can do it with five-gallon buckets, but it's easier to do it those big, like, tote tubs. Just an idea, man. And the solar thing. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go find Kevin Malone. He posts in some of these places that I post this, and the dude's like an inventor genius dude. It's just an idea, man. Seeing it from the outside sometimes it helps. I don't know. Anyway... Happy birthday to me, to you if it's yours. Thanks for watching. Iron Fist Mining. I'm out of here. I got some gold turkey. It's a nice agate. It's not going to show up because it just looked like a brown rock. You'll have to wait until I do something with it and then I'll start showing them. I just got to get a pile going. Anyway, later. Peace out, babies.